Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to assemble a delicious sub. This sub right here, it's amazing. So easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my submarine before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first ingredient that you will need is some nice bread. Now, you can use some Italian bread, you can use rye bread, you can use French bread. I'm gonna use Italian bread here. And it was freshly baked, it's nice and crispy on the outside, really light and airy on the inside. You will need some fresh shredded lettuce and some beautiful fresh tomatoes. You will also need some banana peppers, and we have some pickles here, some red onion, and some mayonnaise. And you're also gonna need some lunch meat. Decide what type of lunch meat you wanna use. So right here we have some beautiful chicken breasts. We have some off the bone ham. These are all the lunch meats that uh, me and my family love on our sandwich. So now we have some hard salami, and you can't forget that garlic bologna, and we have some Colby cheese here. Now, you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. We do have some vegetable oil here. You can use olive oil if you like, and right here you're gonna need some red wine vinegar. You will need some Italian seasoning and some black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I am so excited to make this submarine sandwich. Uh, we This is something that we make a lot. We make these a lot, we enjoy them, we have fun with them. And when you're making a submarine sandwich, possibilities are endless. You can put whatever you want on yours. So now the first thing that I wanna do, make sure you wash off your veggies. You never know who's handled them before you brought them home. And then again, we wanna wash off the pesticides. Let's go ahead and cut some of this beautiful tomato that we have here. Not too thin, but not too thick. You do wanna be able to taste the tomato, you know? All right, and what we are gonna do, we're gonna salt and pepper this tomato. There's nothing like a nice, fresh, tomato with salt and pepper on it. Listen here. What we're going to do is we're going to make this submarine sandwich up tonight. We're going to wrap it up, put it in the refrigerator, and then we're going to go on a little picnic. And I love to eat these sandwiches outside after they've set for, you know, like overnight. They taste better. All the flavors kind of marry together you know, and it tastes better the next day. Absolutely it does. So what I'm gonna do, I need to cut a little bit more tomato. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below, do you like to make subs like this? And if you do, what do you like to put on yours? All right, so now that we have our tomatoes nice and sliced, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about what we're going to do with our red onion. It's very important if you're gonna use an onion. You don't have to use onions if you don't want to, but if you decide to use an onion, there's a way that you can get rid of that really pungent flavor that the onion gives. And what you would do is you would take a bowl of ice water. I have some ice water here in this bowl. And once we slice our onions, we're gonna slice them nice and thin, and we'll do that right now. And then we're gonna get them into the ice water, and by just setting them in the ice water, helps for that pungent flavor to kind of subside a little bit so that it's not so strong. You know, you don't wanna walk around smelling like onions, but you do want the flavor, you know, of the onion, and you don't want it to be too strong. So you cut the onion nice and thin, just like so, get it in that ice water, and just let it sit there for a little bit. It doesn't have to sit there for a long time. About a half an hour will do the trick. Okay, so we got some gorgeous onion here, sliced nice and thin, and it's going into the bowl. 
of ice water. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. Okay. <laughs> see, you see, see what he does, guys, is he makes me laugh before we come on camera and then I, I can't I can't hold it back like I can't stop laughing like right in midsection okay so now here's what we're gonna do we have our beautiful lunch meat and our cheese setting out so we can just grab it it's right there and then we have the onion soaking we have our nice sliced tomatoes and I've washed off my shredded lettuce so we have that available when we're ready. Now, let's tackle the bread. If your bread is not already sliced, what you're gonna use is a, I got a little bit of purple onion on there. So if you see that, it's just purple onion, don't freak out. Okay, so now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a serrated knife. A serrated knife helps you to cut the bread without mushing the bread together, if you can understand what I'm saying. So we're gonna do a sawing motion, just like so, until we cut through the bread, just like so in this manner, okay? Beautiful, and I tell you one thing, there's nothing like fresh baked bread smell. My goodness, it smells good. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way through until we can open up our bread, just like so in this manner, and it is. It's so soft, my goodness. All right, let's go through a little bit more. Beautiful, and look how soft. Oh, 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 I love it. I know I do. Now, here's what we need to do. When you're making a sandwich like this that's so big, I feel like you don't, this is nothing you have to do, but I suggest you, you might want to do it. What I like to do is take out some of the inside, but I don't want you all to think that I just waste the bread because what I do is I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and we can use it for breadcrumbs or you can make um, a bread pudding, you know, that would be a great idea to just take that bread, turn it into a bread pudding. But you want to hollow out some of this bread so you're not eating so many, you know, so much bread. And then also your inside fillings will set in there a little bit easier. So here's how it's done. Let's kind of do it in a fast motion this way. Just kind of pick at it. Just like so, pretty simple, right? That's because everything Gina Young does in this kitchen, it's gonna be simple and doggone it, it's gonna taste good, okay? So it's up to you how much you wanna take out. Take out a lot, take out a little bit, or don't take any out, all right? For the bottom, you just need to take a little bit off, okay? So when I come back, I'm gonna get my bread into a freezer bag, get it into the freezer, and then I'll show you what we'll do next. Let's go ahead and dress our sandwiches. So now we're gonna put some mayonnaise. I always like the savory mayonnaise. Some of you, if you like Miracle Whip, absolutely. Put what condiments on that you love. Here at the Young's house, we like the Duke's mayonnaise. We like the Hellman's. It kind of makes me think of my grandma when I use a mayonnaise like this versus using Miracle Whip. I do love Miracle Whip, but when I think about a sandwich like this, this is what I want. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the top. What do you all love about a picnic? What I love about a picnic is just really sitting back, looking at the water, watching the birds and the squirrels and the geese, they come up to you and there's always that one male geese. He's huge, he will come up to you and he will hiss at you and you and your loved ones look at each other and you say, what would you do if he bit me right now? <laughs> That like always happens. There's always a geese that wants to get a little bit closer because possibly you've been feeding the ducks with crackers and they want some and they're not gonna be happy until they get some. You, you So you throw the geese some crackers, but he keeps on hissing. <laughs> so I begin to think, okay, so if the geese comes over here, I would probably jump onto the picnic table. But if you jump on the picnic table, there's always that thought like the geese can't, they can uh, fly. So would he be able to jump up there and fly and get you? <laughs> it's just, you know, I like the geese, but they're kind of scary a little bit. <laughs> there's always that one geese that scares me half to death. Here's what we're gonna do. We're putting 
the ham on. This is ham off the bone, and I love it, guys. Don't be afraid when you're putting these toppings on your sandwich. Load it. Look at that, and put what you love. If your family members like turkey and chicken on theirs, that's what you're gonna use. You don't have to use what I'm using, but you can just take this as a staple, you know, to show you how to get it set up. Gorgeous, I like the layout, how we're doing it. Just like so. And then we're gonna go in with my favorite, the garlic bologna. Listen here. Can't have a sub without the bologna. I grew up on bologna sandwiches with mustard, and it was the best sandwich ever. And that's all that was on my sandwich. Bologna and mustard, and I was happy. I'd be packing me a bag of maybe a bologna sandwich, a bag of chips, and one of the zingers. You know, the red zinger cakes that has the... Um, what is it called, guys? That has the coconut on it. Oh, those were my favorite when I was little. Packing it and going to the recreation center or going to the swimming pool, and I was happy. All right, look at that there. Beautiful. It was really simple. Now, here's what I want to do. We're going to take a little bit of Italian seasoning a couple of times. We're going to put it on, put it on that meat, and then we're gonna put it right here. Oh, yes, that's all flavor right there. And then what we're gonna do, give me a second, I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you how I like to put together my vinegar and oil mixture. Okay, everyone, so what we wanna do next is let's go ahead, take this time to get our hard salami on. I almost forgot it. We don't wanna forget the hard salami, you need it. All right, and I just like to shingle it. It really gives you an amazing flavor. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't wait to eat these tomorrow. It's gonna be beautiful outside. Let me know when the last time you all have had a picnic. Treat yourself. You know, make some sandwiches at home and go out and enjoy the weather. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of this red wine vinegar. If you don't have red wine vinegar, it's okay, I promise you. Here's what I want you to do. Just take some regular vinegar and mix it with a little bit of oil, okay? And we're gonna dress our sandwich with the oil and vinegar. It gives you a great taste, but you wanna mix it up very well. You know how they do it Subway. They ask you, do you want oil and vinegar? Next time you go there, tell them yes, because it makes everything taste great on a submarine sandwich. Look at that. Delicious flavor we have there, and it's just two ingredients. Okay, so now, here's what we're gonna do next. We are going to put our lettuce in this cored out piece of bread, right there on the top. <laughs> Ooh, we I love the shredded lettuce, and I love that it's already shredded for me. You can shred it yourself if you like, but you know, this way right here, that makes me happy. All you gotta do is bring it home, open the bag, and rinse it off. All right, so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and put some cheese. If you want to put, sometimes, if I'm using provolone, I like to put my provolone at the bottom. For some reason, I don't know why, but it's just something I like to do if I'm using provolone. I feel like provolone has such a powerful flavor. So I put it at the bottom so it's not overwhelming, you know. All right. So, gorgeous Kobe cheese here. I grew up on Kobe cheese. All right, so now we have that just like so. Now it's time to add our gorgeous veggies. Look at that right there. Beautiful, right? And it's so simple. Here's the thing. When you're doing something like this, get the kids in the kitchen. They will have the time of their lives putting this sandwich together, and they'll want to eat it because they were a part of it. You know, let's get a bigger piece. Come on, tomatoes. There you go. Don't skimp on the tomatoes. Not here at the Young's house. We love a nice, fresh tomato, and then you top it off with that salt and pepper. But don't get carried away with the salt and pepper, but when you put it on there, it really awakens the flavor of the tomato. Beautiful, just like so. A little bit of salt, I'm using sea salt, not too much. 
come on oh yes Ooh wait okay so just like that now what i need to do is i'm going to take my pickles and I need to get them out of this container and also uh, my banana peppers. What I'm gonna do is I wanna drain them and pat them dry with a paper towel so that they don't cause my sandwich to be really soggy. So we're gonna pat them dry. I'll come back, we're gonna assemble our sandwich. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. And we have Prince that, Prince, Prince where are you going, honey? We have Prince right there and we have Polo. Say hi, guys. Look up, sweetie, say hi. Last finishing touches. Okay, so now what I did, take a look at the tomatoes. I did put a little bit of Italian seasoning, a little bit more. I remember I told you we need some more. Now, as far as these onions, when it comes to our sub, we don't want too much. Not too much, don't get crazy with it, okay? Even though the, the you know, we've lightened up the flavor a little bit by soaking them you still don't want to overwhelm it you know all right so let's get one more beautiful and then we're going to go in with those pickles you need the pickles and put them right in the middle <laughs> oh wait i hate when i go somewhere and let's just say i order a cheeseburger but they don't give me like i feel like i need two or three more pickles you know <laughs> but that's the fun about making things at home when you do it at home yourself you can put as much as you like you can do it how you want you want extra cheese you can do it the way that you like and you know it's going to be right every time all right so our sandwich is complete and it looks delicious we're going to wrap this up with saran wrap i will slice it just one time so you all can see the inside i'm going to say an amazing prayer and you all can sneak a bite be that let's not forget our oil and vinegar smack down the middle <laughs> oh ho, ho, ho. oh yes come on take a look oh that's good Take a look at it, everybody. China Young style submarine sandwich. Make you some. Oh yeah, perfect. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Really quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for another beautiful day today. Your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come in, come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions and give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, come on in, take a bite. I'm not even going to pick it up. Oh, yes. Look at that. Go out. Have some fun, make up some sandwich, some chips and some punch, go out to the nearest lake, have some fun outside and enjoy the weather. And as always, God bless, good night.